Hello, this is Peyton with Tomwood Subaru. Uh, today we are taking a look at two of our most highly sought after vehicles. We have both the Subaru Outback Wilderness Edition and the Subaru Forester Wilderness Edition. These being some of our most popular vehicles right now, a lot of people come in wondering which one is for them. Well, today we're going to go over a couple of the key differences between the two that may help you narrow your decision. Both the Forester and Outback Wilderness Edition both wear the Wilderness Skin which includes these off-roading wheels and tires, as well as the extra plastic cladding on the side over their wheel wells and on the front and rear bumpers. You'll notice both of these vehicles have Subaru Wilderness badges scattered throughout the vehicle inside and out. Even the floor mats will bear the Subaru Wilderness logo. One of the first things that is important to consider is the cargo volume. The Forester with the rear seats up has 26.9 cubic feet of cargo space. And with the rear seats down, we're looking at 69.1 cubic feet. With the additional nine inches of length that the Outback offers, you increase your trunk space to 32.5 cubic feet. And with the rear seats down, you almost have a six foot truck bed measuring in at 75.7 cubic feet. And next we have the powertrain uh, with the Forester you're coming in at 182 horsepower, providing 25 miles per gallon city and 28 miles per gallon highway. And for those of us that prefer a little bit more power and torque, you have the 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer motor coming in at 260 horsepower, 22 miles per gallon city and 26 miles per gallon highway, only sacrificing two miles per gallon to gain an additional 80 horsepower. And for those of us that are actually considering taking the vehicle off-road, which one has more ground clearance? The Subaru Forester is coming in with a lifted 9.2 inches of ground clearance, but the Outback takes the cake with 9.5 inches of lifted ground clearance. And for those of us that have kids in the equation, the width of the car is very important as well for extra elbow room and making sure that you have room for car seats. The Subaru Forester comes in with 72.2 inches of width. And the Outback, being the bigger of the two, has 74.6 inches of width. So it is a difficult toss-up between the two. I find that most of my customers come in preferring one over the other simply because of the look of the vehicle. But if you like both, and it comes down to the specs, my personal opinion is going to be the Outback. It is a bigger vehicle, more accommodating for more passengers more room for kids in the back, more cargo space, of course, a little more ground clearance if you're going off-roading, and you get more horsepower, only sacrificing two miles per gallon. But really, you can't go wrong with either option. They both share the same Subaru DNA, boxer engine, symmetrical all-wheel drive. They are the safest vehicles on the road and phenomenal for off-roading. If you have any questions or are there any specific videos I can make for you, please let, let me know in the comments. You can also message me anytime. I look forward to hearing from everyone. Have a wonderful day.